What's up guys? It's your boy Justin. We're back at it on the Fullcraft 3 server today. And uh yeah, last video I derped a lot with the power, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I figured it out shortly afterwards, but you have to forgive me a little bit because you got to remember I'm learning as we're going along here. So let me show you what I did wrong. Because I got it set up good now. See, I had the dynamo's output stuck sideways into here, if you remember. So what you need to do is have this guy, the pulverizer, pulverizing the coal. Oh, hold on. That's getting loud. Control. Options. Turn you down a little bit. There we go. Sorry, I couldn't hear myself. Okay. You have the pulverizer pulverizing the coal into the magma crucible, which takes the pulverized coal and turns it into liquefacted coal. Okay. And then you pump that into a refractioning still, which turns the liquefacted coal into naphtha. And you take that naphtha into another fractioning still to turn it into refined fuel. Which then, hold on, turns it into power over here. And this thing pumps out 320 RF a tick, as you can see there. So it's not the best, but hey, it it gets the job done. You can see we got power; it's staying on. And there's not much staying in here because it's coming in and going right back out. But also, if you see here, have an RF tools power cell but if you notice how much energy it can store we're at 11 million because yeah I have a lot set up <laughs> let me come show you what I did also is set up some more cloches and yeah I went a little overboard on the power here because if you remember there were some Ender energy red cables running in here from one of my other oil generators that was powering these three and it did well but when I added these other ones it didn't do so well so I had to make some more power and I said you know if you're gonna do it do it right so and I knew that these stacked so I was like let me just make one for each because now what I have going on here is this is my condola for my generators. Have those coming in over here, which then come into here and allows me to refill my canola also to help with the power. I have another power cell down here which is connected to this capacitor bank. So these guys here power this guy, which then powers this guy, which helps keep the 11 million stored in there. So it working pretty good so far. You know, I derped a lot and went to these guys to help. But I think we got it going pretty well. This thing is staying pretty much full these guys are staying pretty much full and see this was the one that was powering it this one but it really didn't hold too well for those other kaloshes but one thing we're going to get into today i don't know if you saw on the screen there a second ago we're going to get into rf tools because what I want is a way to get home quickly. 
I already had one of these set up here. And then I have the charge porter here. So let's see if we can get this thing working. Let's see. Refine storage room. Let's make it public. And we need, of course, power. So I think I have one extra power cell. Yep. Actually, I got a couple. So let's come over and put you there. Oh, look at that, it's already linked. Let's see if it works. Um, okay. Out. There we go. I keep forgetting you gotta do that. Okay, so. Let's go test this out right quick, because it should just allow us say, to come out here. The charge porter has no target. Okay, so do I have to link them maybe? Let's, there we go. Now it's set. Excuse the derp. See if this will work. Whoosh! Yes! <laughs> I like that. I do. And then also one thing that I want to look into to help get around the base a little bit are what called travel anchors. These things are really cool. And what you need is a couple of these. Let's, I've got several rooms, so. Okay, let's do seven. Because that's what we can do for now. And I gotta make some more pulsating iron ingots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So, let's put one. Here and then let's do one down here because we come down here a lot. Let's come, say this room. Can I label this? No. No. Okay, there we go. This will be the. Uh, generator room. How about that? And let's make that look like that. Okay. And then come in here. Do that. And this one will be this place. So this will be the foundry room. Let's give it a look like that. Okay, and then let's just go here. Can I get an e pearl? Yeah. This will be the Ender Pearl Rooms. There we go. And 
generator room, I can see you. Foundry room. Uh, but I can't see the, oh, because I don't have it named. So let's go name it real quick, I guess, maybe, eh? We'll call this refined storage room and there we go that is too cool yes <laughs> dudes this is cool okay, let's come down here we need one for the farm, right? Let's get you. We'll call this the farm. Yes, I love this, dudes. I'll come over here. Do this. Let's see if we can steal one from here real quick. There we go. Call this the Cloches Room. Forgive me if I'm spelling that one wrong. There we go. I like that. Oh, see, that's it's a lot like in a small area. But hey, whatever, it works. Where's the ender pearl room? There we go. Generator room, foundry room, cloches, refined storage. I like that, dudes. That is neato. And do we need one for up here? Sure. Why not? We'll call this the. Power room. This would be the cold generator room. Oop. There we go. All right. I like that. And uh, yeah, I don't really need any for down there. I don't go down there too much anymore. And please, if someone out there can tell me how to automate this damn thing, I will be forever in your debt. Because, like, it is a pain in my butt to keep having to come over there because it takes a whole stack of coal for, like, Two steel. It's a, a pain in the butt. And no, no, no. It's um, what are they called? Um, 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 um. It's more travel anchors. What are these things called? Pulsating iron. There we go. Make another stack. Oh. Make some more you. Five. Let's make another seven. Now, let's see if we can go set some of these for outside. That way, you know, if we want to come out here for any particular reason, we can. So we'll call this outside storage. Uh, 
Okay, so I can still see you. And okay. Now, can I come over here? Oh, the tree finally grew. Or has it always been there? Ah, well. I wonder how far these travel anchors work. Will it be able to see my Thomcraft Island? Let's find out. Let's get um, something cool. Thom crafty. Um, let's get a crystal. So we can name this Thom Craft Island. Ooh. When on this block can be seen when holding the staff of traveling. Cool. Okay. So maybe I can get a staff of traveling too. I have to look into that. Alright, can I see these? Um, well, I can go to the Colossus room. And then from here, come here. Cold generator outside. Well, maybe I can go here. Yeah, it's just too far. Go there, then there. That works in its own way, I guess. And it's better than nothing, right? While we're over here, I'm not going to put any over here, but let's just check over here. Because I, last time I looked, because I hadn't looked over here in a while, um, I had a, uh, a wolf come in and eat all my sheep. Let's see how you guys are doing. Oh, uh, you're still alive. I probably need some, um, wheat. So that you can breed. Did it just make? Okay. Whoa. But anyways, I can always just go. Whoosh! And teleport home. I like that. That is cool. Uh, now, that might get in the way. Maybe put that over here. Because that's going to get in the way when I'm like standing on the deal. There we go. Because, uh, it'll probably... If I'm standing here, I don't need to see these things, you know? So we'll just dump you off. There we go. Don't need you, don't need you. Cool, dudes. I like that. Now, what's the staff of traveling? Is that this thing? Ender crystal. So I need an enderman. And a vibrant crystal. Okay, so I need some more of you. So let's go to you. To you, to you. So I got one of you. Let's see if we can do this. How do you make dark steel? Iron, crushed coal, and obsidian. Okay, so iron. Obsidian. 
Uh, screw it, let's just make a whole stack. And then... Do I have crushed coal? No. Pulverized coal. So how do I get crushed coal? Probably in here, eh? Let's see what this gives me. Oh, these things are so slow. Oh wait, what is um, this thing giving me? Uh, it's probably pulverized coal. I wonder if that'll work. Yeah, I can see that gives me polarized coal too. So let's see, we got you, you, and you. Uh, I think it worked, guys. Will this give us dark steel? Let's find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. All right, dude. So while that's cooking, it is nighttime. Let's go see if we can get an Enderman soul. Alright, Enderman. Where are you? I see a bunch of zombies. And a bunch of spiders and skellies. Um, where's an Enderman? It's like they're always around when I don't want them, but the time that I do want them, they ain't nowhere around. Bunch of creepers, man. Shoot. And skellies. Uh, come on, Enderman. There's got to be an easier way to find these guys, right? Why can't you ever find something when you want it? But that's how things work. Oh, there we go. Enderman. Gotcha! Whoosh. And we come home. And now. Oh, hold on, let me go get the uh, dark steel. Wow, that's only made eight. That thing goes slow. Staff of traveling. Um, hold up. Oh, we need a soul binder. Okay, how do you make that? Soul binder. Is that something we could easily make? Um, well, I have the heads. Oh, except an Enderman head. Soul machine chassis. Simple machine chassis. You know, I don't think we're going to be able to do this today, guys. Soul attuned powder. What am I missing on that? Oh, organic brown dye. So twigs. And an egg. Okay. Do I have twigs? I do. And I know I have plenty of eggs. We might have to come back to this one. <laughs> um, why aren't you doing that? That works, right? Organic brown dye. brown twigs and pruning oh you need six 
or 12 with a slime ball. Okay. So if you take a shrub and a sag mill, um, yeah, we might have to do this another time, guys. Sorry. That stinks. I really, I thought I had more twigs. Apparently I don't. Because I haven't found like any dead biomes around here, so. Okay, well it wasn't that easy apparently. What else do you need for that? Soul binder. I need an Enderman head. Yeah, see I don't have an Enderman head. Yeah, that's the only head I'm missing. And Solarium. I need one more ingot of that. How do you get that? Soul sand and gold. Well, we can get some of that going. Get it prepped for next time. Get a bunch of you going. And, you know, beans, we have some time. How about we open one of you and one of you? For all the people that have stayed this long through the episode, we're going to open up two mega loot cases. You ready? Three, two, one. Ooh, that looks cool. The ghost blinds enemy for one second and weakens them for two. The rare six upgrades. Ooh. That's nice. All right, what do you think we're going to get into epic? What do you think? I'm nervous. You ready? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Ooh. The sludge. Void miner. Ah, ooh. Five upgrades. So how do you turn on the void miner? Let's see what this can do. Yeah, that's cool. But how do you how do you turn on the void miner? You can't shift right click it. Huh. If any of y'all know, let me know in the comments because I'm not used to these mega loots. It looks cool in my hand. What do you think? Oh, don't want to destroy my base, but look at that. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. I think so. Well, I think with that, guys, extreme close up, I think we are going to call it a day. We messed around with RF tools. And some Ender IO travel anchors. And we even got to pop two mega loot cases. We got this guy here, a bow, and then this guy. We have the ghost bow and the sludge hammer. Let me know which one you like the best. 
the bow and arrow or the battle axe. I like the battle axe, honestly, but I gotta figure out how to turn on the void miner. But we shall see, guys. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Alright? Peace out.